If you're looking to get more out of Illustrator's 3D settings, then this video is for you. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make this 3D bubbly text in Illustrator. So let's do this. Also, if you wanna learn how to make all these videos here in these examples and push your skills to the next level, I launched my Patreon page where I uploaded a bunch of these advanced tutorials. If you wanna check them out, you can click the link in the description and access Patreon premium content, where you can access a bunch of high quality images and tutorials. Step one, let's select the type tool, type in whatever you want, press shift plus alt and scale it up. And for this font, I chose the Cal C bubble font. So I can type in Cal C, this one right here. Right click, create outlines. I also gonna recolor the fill. I gotta go with the blue. And let's go to the 3D and materials right here. If you don't have it, you can go to windows and select 3D and materials. Now I gotta go here to the object and click on the inflate. From here, let's go to the materials right here. And down at the bottom, you can find the base properties. So we got roughness and metallic. I can increase the metallic somewhere around 050-ish. And as you can see, it's gonna create that hard metallic contrast. You can also click up here to the render with ray tracing. So this way you can see realistically how it looks. But we're gonna need to remove that metallic effect. So I gotta go down to the roughness and I'm gonna decrease it. It starts to look more plasticky. You can also decrease the metallic just to see how it's gonna look but these settings are pretty good and now we're gonna go up here to the lighting and you can take this little circle and this way you can uh, adjust the lights however you like I also gonna uncheck the ray tracing so it's gonna work more easier and I think I'm gonna leave it here activate the ray tracing okay so from here you can add all kind of lights you can adjust it however you like but the main trick to make it look really realistic, you're gonna scroll down and you can find here the shadow. So we're gonna activate that and check this out. So it's gonna add more reflections and, I, and of course it's gonna add the shadow there. But now in this way, it's gonna look way more better. So basically the shadow option is responsible to create even more realistic looking bouncing lights on the text. And this was it guys, thanks for watching.